The following video presents our technique for a direct repair of the anterior tibiofibula ligament in a patient with a grade 3 syndesmotic injury. The injury is an alpine skiing injury where x-rays show no sign of fracture, but there is an increased medial clear space in the mortise view. Actual CT scans show syndesmosis widening and on coronal MRI, we can see the ligament injury in the anterior and posterior part of the syndesmosis with edema and increased tip fib space. Actual MRIs show the ligament avulsed from the fibular attachment site and we can see fluid extend along the interosseous membrane above the ankle joint line as periosteal edema. This simulates the procedure on an ankle model. The suture tape is passed to the ligament with a mini scorpion. The loop is pulled out to form a loop suture by introducing one of the tails through the loop and tighten. The fibular bone socket is made with a 2.9 mm drill. The suture tape is pulled through the 2.9 mm push lock short eyelet and the anchor is introduced into the bone socket. The inserter handle is lightly malleted until the laser line is flush to the bone and the thread's tails are cut. The patient is in a supine position with a heel placed over the edge of the operation table to allow ankle movement. An elevation of the ipsilateral buttock prevent external rotation of the foot. A standard true portal technique is used. Care is taken to avoid a superficial perineal nerve and a protective cannula is introduced into the anterolateral portal. A 3.5 mm soft tissue shaver is used to clear out the hematoma before joint evaluation. The shaver is pointing toward the fibula as we localize the tibiofibular recess for evaluation of the injury. The syndesmosis is tested by pushing the shaver towards the fibula. As we can see, there is a positive drive through sign as the shaver easily enters the tip fib space as a sign of instability. With the arthroscopic hook, the AITFL is lifted from its fibular insertion site and we can see the injury. With the shaver, preparation for the bony fibular tunnel is done. The tunnel is placed just above the anterior fibular tubercle, also called the Wagstaff tubercle, which will be in the lower central part of the native AITFL insertion. The mini scorpion is loaded with a 1.3 mm suture tape and passed through the ligament. The loop is pulled outside and one of the suture tape tails are introduced into the loop before the tails are tightened and both tails are loaded into the eyelet of a 2.9 mm pushlock short anchor. The anchor is advanced into the tunnel and tapped until the laser line is flush to the bone. The suture tape ends are cut and we can test the stability of our ligament repair. In this case, the syndesmosis is also secured with a suture button. Level of tunnel placement is identified with the help of a fluoroscope. A guide pin is inserted and overdrilled by a 3.7 mm drill bit. The implant is introduced into the tunnel and pulled through to the medial side where the oblong button is flipped, taking care to avoid soft tissue impingement. By advancing the round button towards the fibula bone, one can assure to avoid loop formation inside the bone as one can control the loops on the lateral side while threads are toggled. Placement is controlled using fluoroscopy and skin is closed with sutures. The medial clear space is normalized. The patients are allowed partial weight bearing in a walker boot for four weeks. Dorsal flexion beyond comfort zone is avoided the first 10 days. Face adjusting rehabilitation is recommended and proprioceptic exercises without the boot can be introduced as tolerated from week 3 and impact activities from week 5. 